On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, the Houthi have released a video showing the boarding of motor vessel Galaxy Leader in the Red Sea. I'm your host, Sal Mercagliano. Welcome to today's episode. So a lot of information has come out since yesterday about Galaxy Leader, who owns and charters the vessel, and this video that shows the boarding of the ship by the Houthi rebels by helicopter, which represents a whole new level of attacks that we haven't seen really before in the Red Sea. We're going to look at the entire video and talk about the new information that is out. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be alerted about new videos as they come out. So this is the video by the Yemen military, and obviously I am not fluent in Arabic, but fortunately I have Google Translate, which is. So this is the Google Translate of that statement there from the Yemen military uh, media. The Yemen Armed Forces carried out a military operation in the Red Sea, which resulted in the seizure of an Israeli ship and taking it to the Yemeni coast. An implementation of the directives of the commander in response to the demands of the Yemeni people to support uh, the Palestinian people and their valiant resistance. Uh, Sunday 06, I, I'm not going to try to do the Arabic uh, calendar there, but corresponding to 1119 on 2023. So that is the statement there. Again, I apologize. This is what Google Translate came up. So if it's not accurate, take it up with Google. So here's the helicopter coming in, uh, adorned in Yemen uh, flag right there. Coming in astern, you can see Galaxy Leader on the stern of the vessel. So uh, you can see the aft lifeboat there. It's a free fall lifeboat on the port side aft, the starboard side ramp there. There is usually always an area where helicopters can winch on and off designated in case they have to remove people for medical reasons. You'll see they're bypassing that. And they're going to be landing right here above the crew member's uh, house. They're actually going to set it down right on the deck, which is a pretty bold move right there. Filming from inside the helicopter as they come on board. They are moving forward toward the bridge at this point. Uh, you can hear them firing, actually. They're shooting up into the air at this point, but they're coming forward, heading toward the bridge. The crew on board is a mix of Europeans, Bulgarian master, we know, and also Ukrainian officers. So this is their entrance onto the bridge here. So standard procedures when you're boarded, usually by pirates, is to lock the vessel down. If, if pirates are going to board your vessel, you're going to go ahead and try to shut the vessel down. If you can't evade them, you would shut the vessel down and go into a safe room, a room deep in the vessel that you could barricade, hold off, you send off your mayday or distress, and you basically wait for assistance to arrive. The pirates, when they would board, usually did not have the capabilities to operate the vessel. So they would either try to get the crew members to do it or flee once Navy arrived. This is such a shock for them coming on board, obviously, that the crew is is unaware. They're still up on the bridge. Uh, the ship was under full power at the time. Uh, it was estimated that the ship was doing about 17 and a half knots. That's what it had been doing going down the Red Sea. So definitely Galaxy Leader, no question about this. So one of the things to notice in the cargo compartment is no signs of vehicles on this vessel. This vessel was sailing from Turkey to India. Now, the NYK lines, which is the livery of the ship, has come out and said that they were leasing the ship, even though in my previous video, I showed you all the documentation about it, that it's operated by a, a Greek firm, is, is basically the operating firm. Stamco in Piraeus, and the ship is owned by Galaxy Maritime, which in turn is owned by Ray Carriers. So a lot of confusion going out about this. What the Israeli Prime Minister and the Israeli Defense Department has said, or Israeli Defense Force says, it's British-owned, Japanese-operated. However, the British-owned is because of a shell company, which they are under called Unity. But again, as the previous video talked about, 
Yeah, it, it's British owned, but the true owners are Israeli and the company they're using is Ray Carriers to do it. Now, it appears this vessel, again, being empty of car, may mean that the, the vessel is being leased or under a contract, a voyage contract to move vehicles for a Japanese car firm in which NYK may be the charterer for the vessel at this time. But it looks like Stamco is still providing the crew on board. So again, this is where you get a lot of the confusion about where this vessel is owned and operated by. I guess he wants to hear Allah Akbar in an echo because that's what you're going to get on a car deck of a car carrier. So here are smaller vessels coming up alongside Galaxy Leader. They obviously were following the vessel and now you see them basically escorting the vessel heading toward the Yemen coast. We have not identified where the vessel has gone to yet. Uh, there's been a couple of satellite passes over the area with a couple of attempts to identify the vessel, but no one has gotten a real good fix on where the vessel has wound up. You can see these small boats surrounding them. Notice they've dropped the starboard anchor. I noticed that earlier when watching this. The ship is light. Uh, you can see the bulbous bow sticking out. Looks like they're heading to an anchorage with that starboard anchor afoot. Ship sailing much slower than previously nowhere near the 17 knots that we saw the vessel moving in so a, a good example here of how this boarding took place the boarding by helicopter is a new thing we have not really seen the houthi do this in the red sea we've seen similar boardings by iranians in the persian gulf region when they took tankers and other vessels in the region you can see that starboard anchor being down there and again this is from Yemen military putting this out of the vessel kind of coming in here. You can also notice uh, the flags flying on the ship now. They have changed uh, flags on the vessel, uh, flying the Yemen flag there coming in, and quite a few flags uh, on the vessel right here uh, being uh, flown at the time as the ship is progressing toward the coast. Just some last additions here. So AIS still not showing the vessel. This is the last off of marine traffic. You'll see the vessel. We knew this position was the one we reported the other day. We believe the vessel has been seized down in this general area down here where it took place. This was an interesting post by H.I. Sutton over at Covert Shores. One of the things he noted was the ship passed close to an Iranian uh, Revolutionary Guard vessel, uh, the Bashad, which is basically a base ship that the Iranians have stationed in the Red Sea. And there's a good belief here that once the vessel, Galaxy Leader, passed that position, that's when the signal went out for where the vessel was. We know the vessel had turned off its AIS transponder, and a tanker tracker had basically run this ship's voyages over the past few months and it had its ais going through so it may have been that warning i showed in the previous video coming out about dangers in and around the the uh, bob del mandab that may have alerted them to turn off their ais tracker so again you know i don't think this vessel turns off its ais tracker unless it was concerned about being grabbed i got a note yesterday saying that basically i'm endangering the lives of these crew because i sat there and said that the ship was owned by an israeli let me be clear there's over a hundred vessels every day going through the bab el mandab through this narrow strait here the yemens and the houthi grabbed a specific ship they grabbed this vessel they didn't just grab one by random uh, they knew what they were grabbing and, you know, passing this close to the Bashad also and then being seized very quickly afterwards is a good indication that there may have been some intel provided by the Iranians here. This is a story over at AP uh, by John uh, uh, Gambrell, uh, ac excellent reporter. Yemen Houthi rebels hijack an Israeli link ship to the Red Sea and take 25 crew members. Uh, the report, I just want to highlight here a couple of things that they have in this report. Uh, the Houthi said all ships belonging to the Israeli enemy or their deal, will it become legitimate targets? 
Uh, that's a, a big issue. It goes on here. The ship's Japanese operator, NYK, said the vessel had no cargo at the time of the hijacking, which matches with what we saw in the video. Its crew members are from Philippines, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, and Mexico. Romania is the new one. Again, Eastern European, probably the officers. Mexico, Philippines, the uh, unlicensed. Japan on Monday condemned the hijacking. Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, Matsuno said the Japanese government was doing its utmost for the early release of the crew through negotiations with the Houthi rebels, while also communicating with Israel and cooperating with the governments of Saudi Arabia, Oman, and Iran. Israeli officials insist the ship was British-owned. Again, this is through that Unity Corporation. But again, as we showed the other day, the ship is uh, owned and, and, and incorporated through the Isle of Man, uh, and then ray carriers is the attached. Now, I will note that sometimes a lot of the sources, for example, like Equus that I used, doesn't stay as up to date because ships will move and transfer ownership like crazy. So that could be the reason for that. And Japanese operated. Okay, I have an issue with the Japanese operated. NYK may have this ship under charter, but the operation seems to be done by Stamco out of Piraeus based especially on the crew members they're using. So I, I think you'd be careful about that statement right there. However, ownership details in public shipping databases associated with ship owners with Ray Car Carriers founded Rami Ungar, who is known as one of the richest men in Israel. Ungar told the Associated Press he was unaware of the incident but couldn't comment as he awaited details. A ship linked to him experienced an explosion in 2021 in the Gulf of uh, Oman, and then there were the two vessels that were also attacked that was referenced in the Lloyd story I did on my previous video, which you can check. It goes on here, two U.S. defense officials confirmed that Houthi rebels seized the galaxy leader in the Red Sea on Sunday afternoon. The rebels descended on the cargo ship by rappelling from a helicopter. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case. Seems like they landed right on deck. Last thing here is the NYK shipping schedule. So I pulled up their RORO schedule. And again, it doesn't show Galaxy Leader here. So it makes me want to think that basically Galaxy Leader is under lease or operating on a charter for NYK. It's not being directly operated by NYK. But it, the Japanese government have come out full force and said that this is a Japanese uh, uh, vessel, which again, did not match the documentation that we have. Again, first run of history is never exactly right. And I, by no means am I always going to be right. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not all the time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media, and if you can, support the page. How do you do that? Well, you can hit the super thanks button down below or head on over to Patreon and become a weekly, excuse me, a monthly or yearly subscriber. Until our next video, Sal, signing off.